Okay, we've reached the end of uh, the ball of yarn and we're ready to connect to the next one. You should get about 12 inches or so out of one ball of yarn. Okay, so what you're going to do is basically tie a knot. So easy. Tie it tight. And if you pull too hard, you might break it. I've done that. That's okay. Just cut it and tie it. And that's about it. Then you cut the ends off close to the knot. Use sharp scissors and that's it. You're ready to go. And then you just continue on the way you've been going all along. And the knots are hidden in the blanket. You don't really see them. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at my website, uppercasedesigns.ca. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Or you can contact me on Instagram, Uppercase Designs Niagara. And you're always keeping the yarn going in the direction that you're working in. So you can see how quickly this progresses. Go to the end of the row. Skip the first one and continue on. So I'll end, end the video here and you can continue all the way through when you get to the end of your second ball of yarn, you can just tie that off and continue until you're at the end of the uh, third ball of yarn. And before you get to the end of that third ball of yarn, if you can remember to keep three widths of the yarn so that we can chain off, and then that will be our next video. So basically, you want to have one, two, three. So if you have that much yarn left, you'll have enough. Maybe just allow a titch more just in case. And that'll be enough to chain off the last row. And that's fun to do too. So I'll just finish this row. And after you do it for a little while, you get into a rhythm. And that's it. Okay, see so you at the end of all three balls and leave three widths of the yarn left so that you can chain off. And I'll come back with the next video. See you soon.